Hello, my name is Shibam, and today we will be creating a micro app on JWT token authorization based on user consent on Drona HQ Studio. And in this app, the JW token will get expired after a certain amount of time. We will be using Xano, so let's just dive into it. Right now, I'm on my Xano, and here I have created a single table named as users this table has email and password and under the apis we have drona hq i have set some of the authentication and users method this will be used to get our endpoint urls as well as our token so let's get to our studio and here i will create a new connector test api i will give this connector a name let it be Xano user and the method will be post since we are send, we will be sending the request and the URL here will be same as for the login. I will go back to our Xano and under auth post I will click here to get my URL copied. I will paste it here. Next we will set our advance. Right here the content type is regular form. We will change it to our raw form. These details will be the same as what we have stored earlier on our table let's give it a name as login do a test connection the response code is 200 now you can copy this token which uh, which will be used later and do a save and close this I'll get back here again and click on edit of this login right now under advanced section we can see that uh, the the form or body parameter is allowing us to state a variable so we will put all of this under as a variable instead of hard coding we will keep it as email and this as password now we can get the dynamic values in this particular variable names. Let's check it. John Vic at the rate. Yeah. So it is working. Let's save it. Now we will add another API. This API will be used to, to get our details which are present in our table. Get user data. This path we can obtain it from our Xano under users get method and click on here as endpoint URL. Go back, paste it, delete everything before API and go to its advance we will put one header this header will be and now in the value section we will put our token i have already copied my token so i will just paste it here do a test api so let's do a test api and uh, yes so the uh, api is working what happened right now is that i provided the token for the authorization purpose and whenever the token matches it is fetching our details from our table let's save it now we have set our connectors with two apis now we will create an app I've already created an app uh, named as JWT token authentication app. 
In this app, we have two screens. One is dashboard, another is login. In the dashboard, we have simply this table grid view which has empty value. And in the login, we have one container which has email ID and password and a login button. Now what I'll do, I'll create a variable. I'll give this variable name as auth token. This variable I want it to be persistent. The reason behind I am making this variable as persistent because the persistent help me to keep the last saved value even if I switch between the apps or switch between the screens. Let's do add. I've created the auto token. And okay. So now I will add action to my login button. First, I will add a server side action from Xano user of login. Click on continue. I'm getting the auth token from here, and to get that, I have to provide it email and password. So I will get a fetch from the input with uh, email ID, password. Continue. Here I will add a variable. This variable will save the token which I am receiving from this particular API and it will get saved in let's say JWT token. Click on finish. Now on success, the token which I have received, I want it to get saved in the variable which I created just now. So I'll click here. I'll go to set variable select the variable name and the value which i want it to get saved this jwt token and finish next once i got the token and the authorization is done i want it to navigate me to my dashboard so i'll do another on screen action towards dashboard and click on continue finish so this is the action flow of the login button from the login page and now we will work on our dashboard on the dashboard we will add actions on screen so what, whenever the screen opens the action will perform the first action what i want is a server side action from xano users to get the user details and to get the details i have to provide it the token so earlier i have saved it in my variable i'll select my variable here and do a continue the whatever the value i am getting i will save it the output in a variable named data and do a finish now on success i want the data to be displayed on my table grid view so i'll add another action of on screen action and let's set set controls value i'll select the table grid in which i want the data and i will select the data here so the earlier the variable which i just created of data will be used here in order to provide the details to my table grid view click on continue do a finish done in case if there is any error i will make it navigate back to my login page so navigate to login and to continue finish So the app is done right now and uh, for this app I have set my token expiry of about 60 seconds just to check whether it is working or not. So let's just click on preview. Now I'm on my dashboard and since there was no presence of any token it, it navigate back to the login page. I will provide email id and password here. Say John.
now that the login has done the token was received it uh, it navigate to the dashboard and now we will wait for 60 seconds to check whether it is getting navigate back to the login when the token is getting expired as you can see after a refresh the token got expired and the nav it navigate back to the as you can see the it navigate back to the login page since the token got expired so our app is done thank you